Hey, ya uh, YouTubers, Taz Man here, bringing you another episode of Regrowth, where we're bringing this cold, dead, desolate world back to life, one block at a time. And by the way, uh, let's let's just jump right into comments uh, before I forget. So, because we had some really good ones. So, first one, Alessandro dos Santos said, "Hello, Taz. Congratulations on 250 videos. This is." episode 251 now I'm not sure if that means it's a testimony of how bad I am at the game <laughs> or how thorough I am at the game or what I know I'm not I I'm not disillusioned in any shape way or form that I'm not the best at the game um, and I'm absolutely terrible at PvP so that's a good thing there's no PvP on this game on this server um, well single player so of course uh, but anyway, uh, then said, you are a great YouTuber, and I'm, I'm not going to argue, uh, I will humbly accept that opinion. <laughs> I hope, I'm, I, I do hope you guys find me at least an adequate YouTuber. Um, obviously, if you're watching and you've watched more than one of my videos, then maybe you think I'm okay. And I appreciate that, and I just want to say, you guys are awesome, and I love you. So, um... As I always say also, you know, tell everyone you know about my, my channel. Come check it out. If they like it, they can sub. We'll grow the channel. I know I say that at the end of every video, but I'm pretty sure not everyone always watches to the very end of the video. So I might as well stick it in right here at the beginning. Uh, the second comment we have is from Infitomes. Infitomes. Uh, that left a bunch of comments a, a long time ago. Uh, so I appreciate them chiming in and letting me know a little bit more now. So I have to click the read more button so I can see the whole comment. Uh, this one's a pretty big one, and this is talking about the Wisp. So in the last episode, we went and we actually... I can't believe we actually found a second tower on our way to the, the first tower that we were going to. Oh well, uh, and I searched forever in the nether and I could not find one, and yeah, whatever. Uh, but anyway, so uh, Infitome says, a couple options for making a wisp grinder. If you want to keep it in Thomcraft, look into making small squad of golems with dart launchers. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, if you give them the guard core, they'll fight hostile mobs, including wisps. Then just put them in the room uh, with the spawner and have a collection system for the drops. Uh, more golems for doing that, maybe. Uh, the issue here is making sure the golems don't die faster than they heal when fighting the wisps. So that's definitely a caveat to that one. Uh, and then also says a fun alternative from Batania is the damaging mana lens. Combine it with a magnetizing lens using a slime ball to craft a damaging magnetizing lens need to look like the damaging lens needs to look like the damaging lens to work then place on a pulse mana spreader set a timer hourglass to shoot automatically and play with the mana pulse arc till it clears the spawn room of wisps the magnet lens will pull the mana pool, uh, will pull the mana pulse to a mana pool, letting you collect unused mana, which can then be recycled to the beam again. Then you can choose uh, use hopper hawks to pick up drops remotely. This would require feeding the system with mana, but you could run it off just a few end of flames, um, and only feed it when using the system since you need to be near the spawner to have the wisp spawn anyway another another alternative is the buildcraft robots bc robotics in nei you could set up a night robot to kill them i believe the robots can fly but i have no clue how they work so you'd be on your own to figure that out wisps can't drown otherwise you could just make a vanilla spawner drowning trap Regardless of what choice you make, the ethereal essence can be then uh, can then be piped into an alchemical furnace to melt and the essentia, I think, sorted by a golem 
the sen yeah, Sencha, sorted by a golem with uh, the alchemy core, which will automatically sort into jars placed in the world that you mark for it. This is a good way to automate Essentia entirely so you can AFK and fill your jars between sessions. P.S. Congrats on 250 episodes. Thank you, thank you. So those are some really good ideas right there. I'm not wiggling or anything, so it'll make for a very boring video without the sound. Um, and then the last one, let me go back over here. I gotta scroll up a little further. Is from good buddy Sky Silverwing. Uh, said personally, I would have gone into your tunnels in the Nether and determined how close they came to the Wisp Tower, and then just tunneled through instead of flying all the way around. That's a brilliant idea. I don't know why I didn't think of it. Um, I seem to recall there was a setup with blood magic that would automatically damage mobs in its area for the purpose of draining their blood. If you set that up in a containment dome, that will keep the wisps in the area with a hopper hopper cart collector set up underneath, or a hopper hawk plant or two. Uh, you should be able to max out your blood and harvest a lot of wisp drops. So a lot of really good ideas there. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I probably would lean to more towards these ones that don't also have the potential of having damage like the robots as awesome as it sounds uh, you they could be damaged and die the golems are the same from what I understand so um, it definitely seems like maybe the Batania one um, or the blood magic one I'd like to know what you guys think which of those uh, or and if you have a good argument or whatever for the other ones, that's good as well. So let's go ahead and jump into our game now that we've taken seven minutes talking. We love talking. However, on a plus side, that does give the world a chance to generate and come in so that when I hit recipe on something, there's less chance it's going to crash. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our quest book we are finishing or trying to finish up um, is it feels yes it is oh we're still working on the staff of scepters so uh, as I recall okay don't crash okay so as I recall we have the charged thomium caps I don't know that we have the silver rod yet we do not have the prime primal charm that's not going to be hard at all. Oh, it's Arcane Infusion, though. <laughs> I love my Arcane Infusion, if you can't tell. Um, Thaumium Base Silverwood Wand. And that said it was a Silverwood Rod, not a wand, right? Let's, let's just check that once more. Yeah, oh, no, it's a Scepter. So we still have to... i uh, hit recipe on that again. Yeah, this is just a Silverwood Rod which is all that stuff not too bad um, even this isn't that bad it's when well, this one's not even an infusion this is just at the table we might be able to do that one so we just need gold the six and a let's try that uh, we need so we need three of these so we actually need six gold uh, three of those and three of those all right, I gotta. I can't. I can't walk, and be in in third person mode very well. Um, all right, at least when I'm facing the front. Uh, so we need six gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't want to get a lot more than what we need. And I think I really need to move this stuff up there. Um, this one. We need three of these, and then one, two, three, four, yeah, and then three of these. I need to learn to count. We're running low on those. Three of 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 those. 
So that might be all that we need other than our wand that needs to be powered up. Now, I um, can't remember how much power is in my wand. 183, 30, I think that might be enough. Didn't it say it needed like 13 and something like that? So this, I wonder if it's shaped. I guess we'll find out really quick. My guess is it isn't. It is. Okay, so we need to get the color order right, which is uh, recipe, uh, recipe. So it's yellow, red, blue, green, purple, black, yellow, red, blue, green, purple, black. Okay, so actually, I guess yellow, red, blue. Ye wait, yellow, red, blue, green. I, was it? Oh, I didn't put those in. I bet you they might not be shaped after all. I'm, okay, so, oh, it's 25, ouch. I'm curious, if we do this, is it shaped? It is, okay, well, okay, so we're good. Um, if we put our wand in here, I think we might only be able to get two. One, no, we can only get one. Because, oh, because our fire one. So I could go into the nether really quick and get that, but let's see, what else do we need? We need uh, the light gray. Light gray and red. The light blue color, which is water, I'm sure. Um, being, oh, actually, we need two more, right? And they're 25, so I need 50. So actually the black, the gray, and the light blue. Uh, the red are all needed. So I guess, oh, I should probably take the wand with me. Uh, da, 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 da. Excuse me. Alright, so I think we can get some of those around here. I don't think our trees really do. Either they don't charge fast or they just don't give us things quick. Is that one right there? There's one. Alright, let's see if you got any juice in you. Whoop. Oh, that one's got both the gray and blue. Do, 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 do. Why am I getting... Does it always give me XP when I do that? It has I've never noticed uh, this one's green yellow and blue good uh, I had another oh this guy right here oh, I have another pad <laughs> I can't see his colors we'll just see what goes up uh, not a, a lot let's see Just blue and green, and those are. Oh, I didn't notice. Wait. What? What made the numbers appear? Was it doing that? No. Wait. How? Oh, it's holding shift. Okay. So. Uh, interesting. So we still need black. Definitely need red. A lot of red. Uh, looks like, can't tell, does that say 48 on black? 40. Alright, did we do, I think we did this one. Oh, maybe not. I need it, next time I come out here, I need to get a lot more lily pads. We did that one, how about this one? Uh... Tiny bit of yellow. We did that one. Hello, mobs. There's one right over there. This one we probably never actually harvested before. It's pretty far over here. What keeps dinging at me? That's just blue. Oh, here's one. Blue and yellow. We can get more yellow. 
I'm gonna come up on this land here. Ignore the doggy. I'm gonna come up on this pole here. <laughs> let my let my stuff recharge and see if we can see any more nodes real quick. I don't see any. By the way, I'm still curious well, what you guys think about using this. In fact, I should probably, um, can I do it here? Say right click and say set waypoint or something. Oh, there we go, double click. Um, so we'll call this home. Personally, I don't see that this is a big deal to use. Um, what am I missing, the Y? Uh, let's do, 80 something like that should be good uh, but anyway so personally I don't think it's a big deal uh, because I can kind of do the same thing with just maps uh, they're harder to make and I can always write down what the heck keeps binging <laughs> what, what is it are XP orbs like follow me miles and miles I'm really confused what? Is this some kind of timer on me or something that is binging? I don't know what it is, but it's still going off. This is kind of a cool area right here. Alright, well let's head home. If we see any, I think actually this is home. Is 80 in the ground? 80 is in the ground. I didn't think we were that low. Ooh, but I nailed where I wanted to be there. Um, what level are we at here? We are at 91. So that's actually not, it's not that low. Uh, but let's, let's just change it, edit, go to 91. Or like 93 and save that just simply moves where the little thing is all right so um, let's go ahead and go into the nether and try and do this and see if we get that dingy sound there as well I know there's a bunch of red ones in the nether we will have to watch our our mana line because what is that <laughs> Do any of you guys know what that is? Because I don't. So I know just over here at least. Because I think this is where I come out. Yeah, there's a red one like right here. Nice big red one too. So that is good there. There's a wisp. Go stand on the cloud for a second. Oh. Can I, like, can I do a wisp? Come here, wisp. Nope, don't look like it. Um, I thought there was a bunch in here. I should get rid of that. I don't need that waypoint anymore. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just remove that. I'm going to keep the portal one. I'm going to let my wings recharge. So we got that one. I thought there was like a bunch in this room. Was it down there? I know there's like on the other side of the the uh, fortress, there's like a little cave. Oh my gosh, that scared me. What the heck was that? Oh my gosh. What was that? Oh my gosh, that startled me so bad. Oh, there's one. By a fire bat. Was it a fire bat, maybe? Get on my way, fire bat. There we go. Um, <laughs> I can't believe how much I jumped. Uh, 83. That's a really good... Oh, it's a spider. Are we full on that? Okay, can we find a black? Another is so dangerous. Um... I'm going to stand up here for a minute. There's no wither skeletons. So I think like right over there or maybe right over there there was a wisps. 
Actually, don't we have that? Is it H? No. G? No, P. No, sorry. P. Uh, no, not P. What was uh J? No, not Journey Map. I could have swore it was P. Maybe we have a conflict with the letter P. Let's check real quick. Um, options. G -g 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 controls. P. Because I thought there was, um, maybe it was a Thomcraft one that pulled up all the fancy nodes. Was it V? Clear waypoint. I don't, I don't want that even anything. Uh, but that was a white piece, so that means that it definitely wasn't that. Uh, locomotive streaming, don't care about any of the streaming right now. Tinker's Construct. <sighs> B. Wayla. I guess not. Miscellaneous. Change one focus. Cinematic camera perspective. We've seen mechanism stuff. Voice journey map. It's definitely not that. Yeah, I don't know. I could have swore it was P. Rotate grid. Packing tweaks. No. All right, well, let's head over here real quick because I thought there was another node somewhere. Up. Is that it? Haha, <laughs> it has some black in it. All right, so that gives us. I cannot read that. So I guess it doesn't help that I, I look at it that way. Uh, 62. So we actually have enough now. I'd, I'd like to find maybe a little more if we can. I don't want to go very far for it, though. Uh. There's a fire over there. I don't see any, so we're just going to fly back to... Smash in the wall. Uh, we're just going to fly back here. And now we have enough to make our other two. And then we just have to, in the next episode, we will hopefully make this, this new scepter. I'm absolutely surprised that coming into the nether, we weren't in a room chuck full of zombie pigmen. That was actually kind of a surprise. Dang, the wind is picking up here. What was that? Something was like... Oh, I was like, what is that? <laughs> it's it's my thing killing me. Getting me all better with my mana. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Go one. Oh, they don't stack. And two. Is that right? All of a sudden I'm thinking maybe... It was three of them, right? Uh, recipe. Uh oh, it's one of them. Why did I make three of them? <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> I'm thinking the caps where we had to have three of those. Well, hopefully we find a use for these, cause uh, I don't know what to do with them. I'm gonna put them right here. I don't. I honestly don't know why. I think I was thinking three because it took three. I, I don't know. I'm just going to claim stupidity. You guys were probably saying that I'm being dumb the whole time. And you're right. So in the next episode, we can make three of these scepters. No, um, we will see if we can work on the infusion and get this new scepter. I get the feeling it'll probably come in useful somewhere. Um, can we actually, really quick before we do this, can we scan you? I would think so. It is... Uh, a thumbcraft item, so makes sense that you'd be able to scan it. Um, do, do, I could probably put this stuff away now. Actually, I'm going to 
keep it out just in case we ever go somewhere that we need it. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching and putting up with my derpiness. And look how that is not rendering. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Uh, aside from that, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, check out my Discord and my other channels, and don't forget to chime in. Let me know, should I keep the journey map? Do you care? Is it a big deal? I kind of like it personally because it just gives a little map up there. I don't think it's a game breaker either way. And also, tell everyone you know about my channel. Check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub and we can grow the channel. And that is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.